Yo, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, chosen ones. I am back with another banger. So first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? If you've been enjoying the content down below, subscribe to the channel, you know, give this video a thumbs up and turn on the post notifications, you know, if you new. And yeah, stay tuned, you may learn some gems. So, you know, amongst my uh my my whole journey, shit man, I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's really been a lot of stuff behind the scenes going on, but it's really been like building me up as a person to like be able to come and, and, and spread the wisdom to y'all and and you know really helping guide y'all's uh helping guide y'all through like y'all spiritual journey and stuff to give y'all like inspiration to keep going because i know like times can really be hard so family like i'm gonna be real like man it's like my tower moment my tower moment had really like smacked the fuck out of me and it, it had really smacked me all at once like i got some big 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 news that i'm gonna drop real soon yo and y'all gonna be like what the fuck cozy like what the f you know what i'm saying like y'all gonna really be uh shocked but you know it's like a lot of tower moments that's just happening right now and i don't want to get too much into that but it's really been man one hell of a ride for real but I just want to come on here just to, you know, do some motivation to y'all, you know, kind of like talk to y'all about like, uh, you know, how to let go of things from the past, right? Like letting go of things from the past, letting go of things from the past is like one of the most important things to really do, you know? Um, and the reason I want to like talk so deeply on this topic is because like really letting go of the past is really what had like changed me a lot as a person, right? Like you know we go through self-development every single day right and you have to choose to want to really change and really like you have to choose to want to let go of things because you know a lot of times it's really easy to uh get stuck onto that feeling of um you know when you associate with someone you may you know start you know if it's like a significant other you may start to deeply deeply fall in love with them or if it's like a person that you you have a crush on you might start to really uh you know get attached on to that or like a friendship or something like that you start to get really attached on and it's like when things it's like how i look at it it's like you can't really depend on, uh, upon no one but yourself right and like what i mean by that is like because at any time at any given time you know what i'm saying like a person can really switch up on your head bro like this is some real stuff that's like I, i've really been experiencing like these last few months it's like people can really like switch up on your head you know a lot of people can just do a lot of these different types of things bro to really make you and knock you off of your alignment right you got to really stay in alignment with your path because you know at the end of the day if you lose yourself you know what i'm saying it's, it's basically like selling your soul when you start to do something else and do something opposite you know what i'm saying just because of you know other people just because you overthinking uh uh, you know a person or like a, a person that used to be in your life for a while or like has always been in your life since like a youngin you know what i'm saying and something major happens you know it can really make you like overthink it but you gotta know like this is when you really start to boss up in life and like this is this is the game right here this is the life the cheat code you gotta learn how to like really detach and like don't attach on to like none of those feelings you know what i'm saying because it's like if you do that's what really messes you up and for a while you know i was really in that um like that autopilot type of mind right that autopilot type of mind and like when you in that autopilot type of mindset it's like you not really your your full authentic self like uh you know the high the highest consciousness that you could really you know adapt in this life which is like you can really keep leveling up day you, you know every single day you go through something new you always learn lessons so you always level up to unlock it like a new um i, I kind of call it like a new percentage of your brain right so you know with you know how to let go people be like you know somebody had commented that on my tiktok and stuff and you know people been asking me like how do you let go like how do you detach from things um you have to really just put yourself in the present moment like you know it's really at first it's kind of hard to know that feeling of being in the full present moment which is like not like completely canceling out all of your thoughts and then like when you can start to work to get to that point like you can start to put different things like in your mind right like if a scenario plays out in your mind and you get a certain feeling off of it it's like you're reading out that already right like um 
for example, like a person that did you bad, right? You keep holding on to that situation. You know, you can, like, the more that you hold on to that situation, like, you're going to keep feeling that, like, you keep feeling that feeling. You're addicted to that feeling. That's what, like, you know, was planted into your subconscious mind. So that's what really feels comfortable. That's like that safety net. So what you could really do is like center yourself and know these different feelings and how they make you feel, right? So if a person makes you feel like really ugh, like y'all know that feeling, right? Like when when a person when 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 a person like pops into your mind or like somebody calls you and you just like ugh, like you know you really don't want to talk to that person. That's that's that reason. It's because like subconsciously like deep down you know you know you really don't need to associate with that person like they may be an energy vampire they may be somebody really lingering in your life to really drain right and you got to really let it go and when you choose to do this it's like you're asking for a reward from the universe like because these are different obstacles in your life that you have to get through but it all starts with you like you got to know that like something really makes you feel uncomfortable like what like something you could really take out of this is being aware being fully aware of like the the thoughts that's in your mind right and canceling that out and knowing that like you're not your thoughts like for real you're not your thoughts like the external things around you is what makes that so you can start to cancel all of that out like i've really been working on that lately um this is really being present like when you really work on being present that's when your life starts to change and you can really feel it you're present you can cancel out you have the ability like you have to know that you have the ability to do this like at first it was really hard for me and like i would like kind of bs on like meditation and like kind of bs on like you know what i'm saying um just really trying to tap into these different things like i would hear about it i would read about it i would get you know answers from within like my intuition would be telling me because when you really start to be present and you start to test these things out you know that the inner voice in you is much louder than that voice that you you know output on a day-to-day -day basis so like when you start to be aware of that inner voice and know that cancel out those thoughts and then now you know once you let go and you choose to let go look this is what you need to do like you got to choose to want to move on and really want to choose to let go because what that does it opens up opportunities to be able to manifest so like now whenever you tap in with yourself right you don't have all those extra thoughts so like you can plan out to the universe that you want to manifest 50k you know 100k or something like that and then this is the thing to manifest it, you got to let go so like whenever you give whenever you plant that you know thought out to the universe you got to be able to go back to that present moment of what i was just talking about of having no thoughts go through your mind and that's how you're going to literally be a magnet for like all your manifestations because at the end of the day you don't have to work for shit like i keep saying that in my videos now i'm gonna keep saying it like you don't have to work for anything you gotta really work on like the self-development part of life you know growth every single day really want to you know change really not you know don't want to don't you know be the same don't choose to like want to be the same like you got to really choose to really want to put in that work every single day and you know really want to grow but like that's the key right there to like letting go you know putting focus on the energy of like how things make you feel and choosing to cancel those things out and choosing to just allow the positivity into your mind but you know what i'm saying like if this video was useful you know as always you know uh subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and turn on the post notifications and you know what i'm saying like comment down below if you caught any gems what was the most important part of the video to you let me know and share this video out to people but as always y'all take care family y'all keep having a blessed and abundant day but as always peace family